that's me, 16 and awkward. My friends call me Kaz, I call myself a complete idiot. Come to the cave. Yeah, sure, we're coming now. Be there in five. Why did you want us to come round again? I thought we could all hang out. Yeah, we never hang out as a group. Maybe because you're Peach's boyfriend? No offence. Matt and Peaches have been going out three months now. She thinks he's dark and mysterious because he goes to music college. He keeps writing her these cheesy love poems. <clears throat> I mean, songs. Our love is beautiful. It's floating in the breeze. When skies are blue, our love's at ease. If thunder rolls, our love is blessed, a refuge from society's rain. Our love is bold, like sunset in Spain. Cringe. Our love is gold, I'm talking bags of money. Skin like velvet, cute and fuzzy. Her name is Peaches, and she's my honey. Ugh, guys, get a room. I bet you don't even know her real name. Peaches? No, like birth name. He doesn't need to know. Wait, babe, tell me. You can't expect us to go through life together if I don't know your real name. You were fine not knowing before. Yeah, because I thought your parents named you after some fruit like some fancy celeb name. Kaz! You might as well tell him, it's not even that bad. Is it Zane? Zane. Uh, no, no, no. It's a cool name. Oh, my God. Fine. Bertha. 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 Bertha! Is that name still around? See, this is why I didn't want to tell you. That's fine, Peach. Bertha. I could rewrite the song. Plenty of things rhyme with Bertha. Like... Um... No, just call me Peaches. That's my name now. Okay. Suits you. Juicy and delicious. <laughs> just out of curiosity, who came up with Peaches? Kaz did. Why? Well... Because she has a peachy bum. Can't argue with that. Ew. Right. You wanted to hang out. So, let's go to the shop. Can someone pass me my shoes down? The funny thing about being young is we find joy of some sort in everyday routines. Some adults don't understand this and just assume we're up to no good and make stupid rules like one youth at a time. We do understand that they're just trying to protect themselves from possible danger. But it is a shame that it affects the innocent. How long is she going to take in there? She's just buying some sweets. So, you guys, you're a thing. A thing? Yeah, like together. <laughs> no, 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 we're not, no. You, you so are. No, what do you mean? I mean, no, we're not. As if I clearly stated I wanted 12 straws and six laces. Not knowing something is simultaneously one of the best and worst feelings. Meaning I half agree with the phrase, ignorance is bliss. Obviously, if I had an idiot sign stuck to my back, I would like to know about it. But in this case, I don't mind knowing. It makes everything less awkward. Oh, 
Uh, I gotta go, guys. Since when have you got other things to do? Where are you even going? Other friends to see. <laughs> yeah, bye. Yeah, these girls have great bodies, and if they want to show them off, they can. But I can't help thinking that the media tends to force normality on these body types, making loads of beautiful, healthy people feel lesser. And I see it day to day affect my friends. Take Peaches, for example. How she looks is incredibly important to her, and sometimes it seems unhealthy. We don't all wear the least amount of material as possible, but my friends who do are sensible people and wearing a certain type of clothing doesn't define you. Just because she wears a short skirt doesn't mean she's 16 and pregnant. They wear black, it doesn't mean they're a menace to society. She's popular, it doesn't mean she's a bully like you see in the movies. Doesn't popular literally mean well liked anyway? Most of the time, we all get along, no matter what we look like or our background, and that's the way it should be. Just depends. Oh, oh it's so cold. <laughs> really cold now. Yeah. Kaz! Kaz! Hey, let's go get drinks. Hey! Hi. Do you want a drink? Nah. I'm alright, thanks. Oh, come on, have it. Be cool. Uh, well, okay, thanks. I didn't realise your parents would buy you alcohol for your party. Oh, no, they didn't. Matt bought it. Right. <laughs> Jesus, how much has she had? I don't know, a couple of beers, vodka. She's such a lightweight. Cass, loosen up. Have another drink or something. Have another drink, have or, another something. drink or something. Have another drink or something. 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 <laughs> Peaches, I better go, Mum's been calling. Cassida, why can't you use a glass like the rest of us? Where have you been? Adults tend to do this. Ask multiple questions at once. I think it's to do with my mum's obvious lack of trust in me. 
And the first question's probably theoretical, so I'll just ignore that one. Sleepover at Bertha's. <coughs> No going out this weekend, it's my cousin's wedding! I don't even know her! People often see us, the group of friends without a care in the world. They call it a youth culture. Expect us to steal from every shop, graffiti every wall spend all day on our phones, or generally just don't understand life. Wrong. We don't spend that long on our phones. And I bet some adults know less about life than us. Oh, and the other two things are just ridiculous stereotypes. It may seem like a meaningless time of life, the teens. But in fact, the smallest, least perfect times of youth or the times we remember for the rest of our life.